I'll be the first to admit that I had no idea what I was getting myself into when I started this. I mean, I'm, I'm Korean, I'm making Chinese food. What's that big platter at? I never cooked Chinese food until last year, so it's pretty crazy. Raise the fucking price of the two for Tuesday to dollar twenty nine now, which is fucking bullshit. My name is Danny Bowen, and I'm the cook. Not the only cook, but a cook at Mission Chinese Food. A cook's life is really hard. Like, I mean, you you basically do it because you're passionate about something, not because you want to make money. And so I was really tired of working at these restaurants and making food for people I couldn't connect to in a lot of ways. And none of my friends could come eat at the restaurant that I worked at because they either didn't want to or they couldn't afford it. I wanted to like be able to make food for people that I could relate to. The owners of the restaurant have owned this restaurant for 10 years. It's never been busy. And they were fine with that because they owned the building. They just had this as kind of like a hangout. We're kind of renting the space out from them. And then with Mission Chinese Food, we were like, well, let's just do this together and we'll just find a way to make it work. Who bought milk? Whose gallon of milk is this? What do you mean? No Asians keep drinking milk. It's good milk. It's good milk. So we're at the Commonwealth. We're picking up Ian, um, he's one of our really good friends, and on our days off we would always eat Chinese food together. High five, pound the beer. High five, pound the beer, let's go. Let's go. The Commonwealth is kind of the uh, sister restaurant of Mission Chinese Food. The young man's game is beer pounding. All right, we're gonna go. Before I actually started working in a Chinese restaurant, all my cook friends, we would all just go out and eat Chinese food on our day off. It's when you like make fancy food all the time, you don't feel like eating fancy food on your day off. It's cool, now all my friends work at fancy restaurants and I work at a shitty Chinese restaurant. So we're going to Bar Agricole right now. Um, one of my best friends in the world, Brandon Ju, is a chef there. Like, to be honest, he's like the reason that I started making Chinese food. But he's Chinese. I think his dream still is to make Chinese food. Thank God. Yes. Dude, so spices are over... No. Oh, what the fuck you got? These are... Uh... Oh, tiny pastries. Yeah. <laughs> try this. Try this. <laughs> Why are you eating this? We're about to eat fucking... I know. Just try it. Spicy Chinese food. You're crazy. Dude, it's delicious. so good. Yeah, yeah, have you had the Copenhagen Tessa yeah. here yet? No. I have some, yeah. What the fuck up? We have to hurry, though. We're... That place closes soon. He makes awesome charcuterie. There's a snout right here. It's nice. Nice. Oh. It's smelly as fuck. Like this, and this is all the... So this is all like the... the ears. Shit. Put the tenderloin in there and the cheeks, and that's the tongue. This is what I eat late at night when I go home, before I go home. I eat this. We call it rotulogi testa. It's just, it's, it's just like, it just means a roll of head. Um, <laughs> it's melting, so we gotta eat it. Yeah, now. you gotta eat it fast. Right, let's let's crush this and then we should go. Ian, yeah, what's your favorite thing in spices? The fucking pork. Oh, really? Fuck. Oh. <laughs> and they send you like the whole motherfucking shoulder. Don't really haul balls, I was joking. It's called Spices Szechuan Trends with a Z. It's kind of like made up to look like a really shitty Taiwanese nightclub. <laughs> I think the good thing about going to eat Chinese food is that like, the more people you have, the better, because you can order more stuff. Yeah. All right, what are you gonna get? We got the pork shoulder and garlic sauce and the dry braised eel strips. You want to get the spicy beef tendon? You guys are so quiet, so that's a no. Yeah. What's your What's your favorite thing here? I like the pork intestines. Yeah, I'll get that. These guys are wusses. Just no, I don't want that. You're okay. crazy. Okay. Just, it's so good. It's very crispy, right? No crispy one. Oh, never mind. It's the. <laughs> I like the game. <laughs> <laughs> I like your pickles better. So this thing is ridiculous. Ian, when did you when did you have this before? Every time that I've been here. It's crazy. Since the first time. I don't want to, I don't want to mess what, with it. It's so what awesome. Else? Look at this fat cat. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. It's so nuts. I, I'm at a loss for words right now. We had a gift. It's no joke, my friend. This is no, this is no joke. 
Oh, this is a blood blood thing. Yeah. It's for Daniel. Your favorite. Yeah. I'm Go stoked. Ahead. I'm excited. No, if it's our favorite, I'm excited to try it. I, it's, good. I'm excited. Good. I'll eat the blood. The intestine's good. I love this place because like I came here the first time and like I'd, I'd never had food like this before ever like ever 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 I never had Sichuan food before like, I mean I grew up in Oklahoma and I ate like a lot of sweet and sour chicken and like fried rice and lo mein but like this is what really opened my eyes to like making stuff that's different every time I come here I'm like I find out something else that I've never had before like this thing is ridiculous. I've never had this before. I have no chef telling me what to do. I know how to do whatever cooking technique I know, and then like you, you come in and you're like, you taste and taste and taste, and then you're like, how do they do that? And then you just try to like, make it as good as, just as good as, and if it's better, then it's better, but it's just as good as. The thing about Danny, like, it's crazy, because he can take, he just needs to taste something, and then he can start like, recreating it, and then he'll start dorking out about it, and no, he'll, I, be, I, like, he'll dude, be like, hey, come over and try this shit. <laughs> I got I got this idea from this so and so place, and then all of a sudden, like you're eating it, and it tastes even better than the original. No, not that. That's it not, does. That's arguable. My frustration with Chinese food is that no one was like making it better. Like David Chang was like making Korean food better in New York, and like Charles Pham was doing that with Vietnamese food out here, but no one was like taking a torch for Chinese food, and that that's what like as a Chinese American, like that was like my whole. Them, Frustration was like no one's taking a torch. I don't know. I'm just stoked that someone is doing Chinese food. Yeah, we're getting all bro man summer. I think the reason that that your cooking is something you know more more unique and more interesting is that, that you take this really beginner's mindset to it. You know that you don't know what you're doing. I have no idea. And you're just trying to make something good. Whereas like everybody here is so steeped in tradition they're just going to make it the way they've been told to and they're going to care in varying yeah. degrees. Yeah, you're not playing that role. We're going back to the restaurant right now and we're going to um, we're, we're going to make a late night snack. Because um, we're all starving. I can eat more. I thought you watched it left. Hey, oh my god, dude. It's gonna get kind of nuts. Right so, you know, the real question is gonna be whose hand gets like fucking bitten off. Hold on, why are we not throwing these things into fucking boiling towels? water? That's, we need boiling water. No, why the fuck no, are we cutting these things up alive? Ian, shut up. I'm, you're so, I'm so drunk, you're not drunk. It's not fair. I've been drinking waiting for you. Alright, sorry, sorry, sorry. I think people are gonna be stoked. All right, let me clean one of these fuckers because I've never done this alive. Oh, dude, I got the livest crab here. It does not want to die. Does not want to. Oh! Oh! Flip him over. Flip him over. Fuck him. I'm not giving him a nap. He's going for the gold. Oh, it's a lot harder when it's raw, man. Pull the gills, pop the back. I don't know what I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From here, I got it. Little fucker. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Like yeah. uh -huh. yeah. Don't I got cut it. your hand off. This is where you cut your hand off. This is it. Not cut my This is where drunken off. cooking goes wrong. Oh no, I'm familiar with the giving. Oh, really? Oh no! Stop it! Stop. They're eating that one. Fine, I'll eat this one. We're throwing it in a fucking wok. After I ripped its dick off, it fucking cut me, dude. <laughs> I don't even remember cooking anything last night. <laughs> but we cooked a bunch of crazy food. Let's drop these crabs in, huh? What is with all these Slim Jims over here? I feel like we're just doing what we want to do. When you're able to just have 100% creative freedom and do what you want to do, that comes across and you can connect to people. Oh, Danny Bowen. Wait, wait, you have to wait for this. This is the salt and pepper Dungeons crab with mapo tofu sauce. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Shut your mouth. We'll see where it goes, you know. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be making Chinese food when I'm 45 or anything like that. We'll see. The dream was like, oh, I just wanna work at a restaurant where I cook what I wanna eat on my day off. And that was what this was. And it still is, but you know, now I kinda want like, salads. <laughs> okay, time to be here. Tonight? I feel like it turned out awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for coming.
ってないです。<笑>